Well, good morning. And welcome to the early days of February. Well, it is absolutely glorious this morning. It was probably minus two, minus three during the night. So we've got a nice frost this morning, but the sun's out. There is hardly a cloud in the sky. So we're looking forward to some significant solar generation. Today, we're gonna to take a look at how did the heat pump perform during January? Because we had some pretty cold weather during January, certainly by UK standards. So how much power did it use? What was our coefficient of performance? And ultimately, how much did it cost us to run? So January was a pretty cold month, certainly by UK standards. We had some days where we had nice sunny days like today, where the temperature was up around 12 degrees C. We had some days where it never got above about minus four, but we tended to average about five degrees Celsius. Now, surprise, surprise, when it's cold, these things use more power because it's harder to heat the house. Therefore, they need to work harder use more electricity to keep the house at that stable temperature. Now, if we look across the month, you can see uh, on the graph that, you know, we had some days where we used a lot of power, but we also had days where the heat pump was effectively just ticking along and they all kind of average out over the course of a month. So our total electricity usage for our heat pump in January was 607.79 kilowatt hours for the entire month. Now that sounds like quite a lot, but I think you're gonna be surprised when we actually look at the numbers and how much it cost. So let's start with the coefficient of performance. So the chart you can see here shows the coefficients for the heating, the hot water as separate entities, and then the combined for the whole house. Now I only really look at the combined because there's no way really to separate them out other than in the numbers. What you can see here is our coefficient of performance went down between December and January. And that was because we had a lot more cold days in January. Our heating coefficient was 3.15. Our hot water coefficient was 2.90, which gave us a combined of 3.32. So effectively, the heat pump was running at 332% efficiency. For every one kilowatt of power we were using, we were producing an average of 3.32 kilowatts of heat. So let's talk about the power usage. Now, don't be confused when you see the ratings on a heat pump. This is a six kilowatt heat pump. That does not mean that it uses six kilowatts of electricity. It means it can produce six kilowatts of heat energy. Over the course of the month, we use an average of 19.61 kilowatt hours per day. So on some days when it was really cold, that actually went up to a maximum that we saw of 35.09 kilowatt hours. That was a day when it never got above freezing here. We were around about minus two, minus three for most of the daylight hours. And at nighttime, the temperature plunged down quite significantly, so in some cases down to minus five. The minimum we ever saw it draw on a day like this when there's plenty of sunshine, even though it is a little bit cold, was about 11 kilowatts for a 24 hour period. So what did it cost? That's what you came for this video for. Well, I'm going to put a chart up on the screen now and I'm going to show you five different costs. I'm going to show you what it cost me, what it cost if you were running this on the Octopus Cozy tariff, which is their heat pump specific tariff. We'll show what it costs to run it on a standard tariff if you didn't have any or you couldn't get a smart meter, you were just running on a standard uh, tariff. We'll also give you the costs for if you were running it on gas with a pretty new sort of combi boiler that's maybe 90% efficient and also an old gas boiler like the one that I pulled out, which was roughly 75% efficient. So let's start with the gas boiler. So the 75% efficient gas boiler to produce the same amount of heat energy that this did would have cost 168 pounds and 25 pence. If you had a 90% efficient gas boiler, that would have come down to 140 pounds and 43 pence. Now, if you were on the standard tariff, it would have actually cost you a little bit more than that. So it would have cost you 146 pounds and 47p. So slightly more than a 90% efficient gas boiler. But remember, that is only if you can't get a, a smart tariff, you don't have the ability to have a, um, a modern smart meter, there you would have paid six pounds a month more to have a heat pump than you would if you were on gas. 
Now, if you're on the Octopus Cozy tariff, so you have got a smart meter, you can get access to smart tariffs, but maybe you don't have an EV or batteries or solar or anything else, you're just using the Cozy tariff. This would have cost you approximately £91.17. Now, what did it cost me? Well, if I take the amount of electricity that uh, it used and I divide that by the seven pence per kilowatt that I buy my power in, and for those that, uh, that, that don't know, the way I run my house is I have a large battery system in my garage. Um, obviously, our solar panels are connected to that. But what we do in the winter is we pull in power in the in the nighttime period when it's very cheap at seven pence a kilowatt hour. We store it in our batteries and we run this all day from that stored power. So it costs me about seven pence a kilowatt hour. So to run this heat pump for the entire month of January, 42 pounds and 55 pence. But that's not the whole story because we actually had some generation in January. I know it's been a pretty miserable month. It's been very cold. It's been very overcast. Um, days like today when it's bright sunshine and I'm having to squint as I'm looking into the camera, they were pretty rare. But we still managed to generate 200 kilowatt hours of power roughly 13% of what we used. So if we apply that to what we calculated that the heat pump cost to run, we see that my cost went down to 36 pounds and 92 pence. That's pretty much the price for the coldest month of the year. Now we are gonna have some cold days in February. I'd love to think it's all gonna be like this, but we will see some days when the temperature plunges. I mean, last night it was well below freezing, but as we start to get further and further into the spring, we're gonna see more days of generation. So the percentage that we're gonna be generating from solar is gonna go up. The difference in cost of running this heat pump with solar and batteries compared to my old gas boiler is a saving of 78%. So for all of you that said heat pumps are too expensive, heat pumps will bankrupt you, heat pumps don't work, I'm here to tell you None of that is true. Unless you were in that very specific niche where you've got a modern combi boiler and you can't get a smart meter, then it will be slightly more expensive to run a heat pump than it would be to run your gas boiler. But if you've got solar, you've got batteries, you've got access to a smart meter, you've got access to smart tariffs, then your cost can drop dramatically. And in my case, approximately 78%. That's it for this month's heat pump update. I hope you found this useful. I hope all of you that are getting ready to post in the comments and say it's all a lie and how heat pumps don't work, realize that they do work. Even in the coldest days of winter, the house has been lovely and warm and it cost us 78% less to run than using a gas boiler. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope this has been useful. And if I'm lucky, I'll see you back here real soon for another one. Should we go for a walk?